Welcome to Life is Beautiful. Thank you. Can you tell us uh, briefly about your schooling, upbringing and your journey to this current uh, expertise? I was uh, schooled in a very small place in Rajasthan, India. Then I did my graduation and post-graduation and of course PhD also from Jaipur, the capital of Rajasthan. Since 1967, I have been doing scientific research on the paranormals. Paranormals are all those phenomena for which science so far has no explanation. Like telepathy, precognition, ghost, uh, communication with dead, possession and reincarnation, etc. So you have chosen a very unique topic, reincarnation. How did you get interested in this topic? The story of my interest in this topic goes 100 years back. Of course, I'm not 100 years old, but the story goes like this, that there was a very small boy of, say, about 11 years. He was serving a saint. One day the saint called him and told him that just after three days, I'll be changing my chola, that is, I'll be dying. And after 12 years, I'll be a king in a state and you will be my chief minister. A small boy of a small village populated only of 400, 500 people. It was impossible to think 100 years back in Britishers' rule. Today it is possible through democracy for any small person to rise to the highest post. But at that time it was almost impossible, unthinkable. But the facts go like this, that that boy did become chief minister of Dugarpur state in Rajasthan and the king at that time was 12 years old. It's a historical fact. And that boy name who became chief minister was Ganesh Ram Rawat, my own grandfather. I did not see him but I listened to these things and there were several other things associated with his life. Then my father wanted me to be a doctor. I offered uh, science subjects. But uh, when I grew to 17 years, 18 years old, passed out with my B.Sc. previous, I used to read day and night books related with philosophy, psychology, religion, all these things. Since I have literary taste also, writing poems, stories, etc., I was appointed as editor of the college magazine. The place at which I was posted at that time did not have a press. So I went to Jaipur in search of a good press. When I went to a press, I don't know why that gentleman, instead of asking me why I had gone to him, he asked me, he introduced me with a person asking me, do you know him? I said, no. He said, he is the director of parapsychology department, Jaipur in Rajasthan University. I immediately showed my interest. He called me in the department. Next day when I was in the department, that was 16th May 1967, he gave me a pamphlet, what is parapsychology? And there I got that there is a subject which is studies scientifically, this phenomena of reincarnation, etc. From that day till this day, I have been studying. What is reincarnation? Can you briefly tell us about this terminology in a very plain and simple language? When a person dies, he does not die completely. His soul, atma, ru, or spirit, whatever you call, that remains and that is reborn in another form that we call as reincarnation. Many religions do believe in reincarnation and if you look at Hinduism, Jainism, uh, Sikhism and Buddhism, many stories unfold around uh, reincarnation, but the interpretations are different. So what is the common link to connect this theory? You are right. There are many interpretations. All these religions, Hinduism, Jainism, Sikhism, Buddhism, together with reincarnation, they believe that whatever you do in one life, you will have to reap again in another life. If we believe in reincarnation, how do we track? Do you have any evidence to back up this theory? We find children born with or talking about their another life 
say at the age of three, four, five years. He does not only recall some memories or recognition, etc. He is he has got some traits from his past life, some likings, some strong disliking, some phobia, some mania, some skills like driving car or um, maintaining a machine or speaking some foreign language which he had not learned in this life at all. Not only that, we find sometimes a person born with birth mark or birth defect. I have got one case, a Hindu boy recalling life as a Muslim. He gave out how he died, what was the name, the family people and that all. The father told us that he used to sit several times in a day in the position of namaz. Not only that, the child was born with a circumcised penis. Hindus don't get circumcision. And the child not only had the penis circumcised, he used to tell the entire process which he had, had to undergo. When we saw the child, we did find his penis circumcised. Now, no one on earth, no father, no relative on earth could do it deliberately in order to convince us that reincarnation is... Nobody knew it. So these cases are really strong cases of supporting the hypothesis of reincarnation. Is there any links between the reincarnation and karma? Or if I have to put this in other, other words, uh, does people's deeds in their lifetime affects where the reincarnation is likely to be? Yes, we, we do have some cases in a person while alive predicted that uh, when he dies, he will be reborn like this in such and such place. If, for example, a gentleman told his wife and other family people that he will be reborn in his, as in her own, his own son. The wife was, of course, pregnant at that time. And he told that you will recognize that as me because he will be wearing a birthmark on his head. And he will not be able, you will not be able to feed him on your best. Okay. And when the child was born, he did have that birthmark. And for years, he did not take milk from his mother's breast at all. These, we got some, we have got some cases in which a person gets a dream that he will be going to reborn like this. We call these as departure dreams. Then we have some announcing dreams and so as law of karma is concerned, it's a very big topic, very complicated thing. Still, we got some glimpses, but we can't say there's a scientific evidence so far. Maybe, there's one more reason. All the, almost all the researchers all over the world have been so far concentrating whether re reincarnation is true or not. Now, I have suggested in several international conferences also that we should stop investigating only this. We should go deeper into the process of reincarnation. Why do only some people recall, others don't? And particularly the law of karma. If do, can we get the, it proved scientifically law of karma? So can we not uh, educate people about this so that people are pressurized to keep good morals in their lives? No, we can't, morality cannot be done by pressurizing any people. Only it comes by understanding. <coughs> if we make them understand, and making them understand, we have to first of all to give proofs. Today, if you ask any girl or a boy to believe anything, because it is written in the scriptures, they won't believe. If we give them scientific proof, then they believe. So my effort is to do that that scientifically let us find out what are the cases. Are there really good evidences? And as I told you, we do have many. What is your message to the people who refuse to believe in this theory? I say, just don't go by any prejudice. Now, it's a superstition to say reincarnation superstition. Because what is superstition? Superstition is believing something without base, scientific base or very sound logical basis. But today, 
we have got so many scientific basis cases uh, examples which go to suggest very highly that reincarnation is a fact now my challenge is this that either you you must read some important investigations done in the field and if you are also open minded you will have to come towards reincarnation may not 100% 60% 70% but you will have, you can't say that it's superstition now tell us why life is beautiful to you the entire universe is beautiful this place is beautiful these flowers are beautiful and you are beautiful therefore life is also beautiful it was beautiful in the past because why i was in anticipating beauty it is beautiful today as i told you it will be beautiful tomorrow also because i will be recalling beautiful things thanks so much for sharing your views in life is beautiful thank you